Hi everyone, me again from Robbinsville, North Carolina, and we're here at the Ingalls in Robbinsville. It's the one major uh, grocery store, and uh, you know they have Dollar Generals and Walgreens, things like that, place you can get some some groceries. But uh, this is the big grocery store, and we're going to ride through town and uh, head out. We go down 129 again toward the Dragon. Uh, we haven't come all the way through town this trip yet, so we'll see what's going on. Looks like they're working in town too, keeping everything going. Lots of changes here, mostly on the roads. They're growing, but uh, it's always something different when we come through here. They got a lot of work. This will all be done. I imagine this will all be done by the time we get up here again. We're going to come up here in another couple of months. We try to come up here in August. And uh, we'll see how it works out. The big chicken back there. Their big chicken, not the big chicken. Wendy's is hiring if you're looking for work in Robbinsville. And the bagels are back at McDonald's. So, got a family dollar. You can get some groceries in the family dollar. You can get about anything there. I don't see much else. Graham County Welcome Center over there. This is a touristy part of Robbinsville. Uh, up on, up in town, up on the hill is uh, Lynn's place, which is a really good. Uh, Really good place for home style cooking, home meals. We've eaten there a lot. Uh, lately, we've been bringing our own food a lot. I'm getting kind of picky in what I like to eat, so we, uh, I usually bring most of what I have. We got a camper, we got a refrigerator and freezer, stove, and everything else, microwave, may as well do it all. Well, still haven't made any, still haven't built, rebuilt the, the hub yet. I was hoping they would by now nice restaurant to go into. Got real trendy there, right right before it burned down, oddly enough. When we first came up here, it was really nice and more home style. And uh, I think a group of three guys bought it and uh, made it kind of artisan type, you know, kind of artisan bread, kind of sandwiches and stuff like that. Got a pizza place here, Papa's Pizza to Go. We've never, we've never been by there and picked up anything. Let's think about a motorcycle. Now, we could strap a pizza to the back seat of Susan's bike, but for me, I'd have to do it. I'd just have to order individual slices <laughs> in boxes and stack them up inside my, my saddlebag and behind me. It's just not big enough for a whole pizza. We really, he's not open today, but we really love this guy here. We stopped to talk to him. The pineapple hula girl, she shakes when he's open. Go in there and get a, a an icy, you know, a, Pineapple ice is his, uh, is his main claim to fame. But he's got other flavors too. Thought about going on the Churahala today, but that's a pretty long ride for, for us. And we rode so much yesterday and we're getting such a late start today. Uh, I don't know if we're gonna, I don't think we're gonna go up there. I think we're just gonna head on down toward the Toward the dragon area and around that way. We just like that loop. There's a, I forget the name of it. There, there's a loop name for this, but if you take this loop uh, and go, this is North 29, 129, you go all the way down to the, to Deals Gap, North Carolina, and then you can turn right. You go straight, you go on the dragon. You go into Tennessee. If you turn right, you get on the highway Moonshiner 28. And that takes you back around again and you're just on the other side of the mountain from Robbinsville again. So this is sort of a big, I would say it's a V. It's not really a U, it's more a big V. But uh, some nice stuff down here. We've got, some, got a lake down here, some homes on the lake. Uh, down here a little farther, they got some real nice homes on the lake. And, uh, if I were a rich man and 30 years younger, I might consider getting one. It's not a really big lake, it's a mountain lake, you know. Limited usage for times of the year, just as the temperature will water temperature. I'm sure that water stays cold all the time. But it seems really nice. 
nice. I like this area a lot. People are very friendly. And, uh, you know, it's great places to ride. You got a little sports car or, or you got a, uh, Motorcycle, Can Am, anything like that. Now, I've never been in this place. Tell the Dragon T shirts and souvenirs, Wheeler Cycle Shop. <clears throat> I've never been in there before. <clears throat> Someday I'll just have to stop. <clears throat> I don't really need a souvenir. And so far I haven't needed any repairs done. I believe he actually does repair work. So, I hope, you know, maybe he'd be the guy to see. Had to top off Susan's brake fluid. I don't know if any of you other Can-Am folks have with the RTs. I don't know about anything other than the RT. Um, if that brake fluid is not right at the top of the reservoir, you get a brake failure signal. And uh, her light came on. I have to fill it up about, well, I mean, when I say fill it up, I bet I added maybe two or three capfuls somewhere and it, I don't think it's just brake wear. Somewhere there's a tiny little leak. And I haven't seen it. I don't know where it is. It must be underneath somewhere. At a T-fitting or at the regulator or something. Because uh, there, none of the calipers are wet. And the lines to the calipers look good. I do the brakes on, that, on the RT. They're not difficult to do. It saves a lot of money. Not that I don't trust my local dealer for anything major, like if I need a tire change on a rim, I take it to them. Uh, I don't do that anymore. Uh, if something breaks, seriously breaks on the bike, they're going to get it to work on, or somebody will. I'll probably haul it all the way up to Cartersville. I like the, I like the dealer up there a lot. Real personal guy, and all he does is can him and see do. That's it. Now he may add, he just built a huge new showroom, moved out of a smaller rental place, but if he, uh, he may add other lines. I, he, he was considering it last time I talked to him, which was about a year ago. But um, he's, uh, oh, what do we got down here? Oh, we've got some buzzards in the road. Can you see them? Oh, that's crows. Those are miniature buzzards. What are they chewing on? Everything. <laughs> Literally a plastic bag with maybe some chips in it or something. It looks like they were trying to get into it. Thought it might be a squirrel or something. <laughs> it's real pretty through here. Nice to use the valley. It's a real pretty little church right here. Lone Oak Baptist. A lot of Baptist churches out here. Not a lot of Methodist churches. That's okay. Baptists and Methodists get along pretty well. I've eaten and cooking at both of them, both churches, and they're both pretty similar. Really good food, plenty of it. Don't get a hit them on homecoming or a special event. And, uh, you can eat good. Okay, we're going to cross over this bridge here. You, off to our left and right are going to be some really, really expensive homes. I don't know what they sell for, but it seems like there's always one or two for sale. It's a beautiful little lake. You can ride under this bridge, I believe. Open the whole thing up. See if there are any signs out. Nope, no signs. House for sale at this time. So I guess everybody's happy with what they have. <laughs> 